Hey guys, Scott here from RC Skunk Works, and today I've started building my free wing A10 twin 90mm. That's right, I've gone straight for the upgrade, and here are the pods set up ready to go. You'll see that the free wing 130M electronic speed controllers fit straight in, and they literally bolt in in less than two minutes. It's that simple. They're positioned in the most prime location, right behind the fan for maximum cooling. You'll also see that I've got installed the free wing outrunner 90mm 12 blade system. The same that you find in the Stinger 90s. That should be ample power for this aircraft. And these nacelle pods just go straight on. Like so and they're held in by four screws. So let's give her a bit of a power up, see how she sounds. Sweet, nice. So before I uh, bolt this on to the back of the aircraft, I'd like to show you the mods I've done to the battery bay. Well guys, with my A10, I'm planning on running it on two graphene 6000 milliamp six cell batteries. But to do so, I've had to make a few changes to the battery bay just so they can fit and also to achieve the correct CG. The first thing I've done is move this circuit board, which was originally located down here, and it's now up over the nose wheel. You'll see that I've got my little free wing gyro installed, ready to go, and I've also put a plastic cover over the nose wheel well. This is just to prevent any wet grass coming in over electronics. You know how it is on those early morning flights when it's a bit dewy. And while I was in here, I noticed something quite interesting. The battery bay has a 6mm groove running down the full length on both sides. So considering that the combined weight of these two batteries is close to 5.5 pounds, I thought it would be a good job to reinforce the bay. So I've epoxied in a 6mm square carbon rod on both sides as reinforcing. So what I'll do now, I'll place these batteries in here just to show you guys how it looks. Well, this is how she looks the batteries in. As you can see, they fit in line. Plenty of room. I'm quite confident the CG would be also correct in this configuration. Well, anyway guys, that's pretty much all I've done so far. And I can't really see any reason to do any more mods to this aircraft. So um, that concludes the video. Thanks for watching. Cheers.